Okay. How do we take vector paths from a $600 program called Photoshop that doesn't support SVG format to Inkscape, a free program that does support SVG format in addition to several other free formats? So, <clears throat> that's a good question. That's a brilliant question. Unfortunately, the answer is not so brilliant. So let's uh, let's continue on. Let's go past that hurdle, shall we? So we have a vector image here. Star blaze, hair. We have uh, paths we can edit here. Woohoo! Yay! Okay. So how do we get how do we get these paths from Photoshop into Inkscape? <coughs> Oops. Where we can actually edit them like this. Now, let's see here. All right. Look at that. Wow. Now you'll see it's not quite the same. It's a little different there. Now you see in, in Photoshop that this is actually a separate path there. But uh, <laughs> it's pretty close. Now, some things may not uh, be. Okay, yeah, like this. Okay. And, and that's not right. Well, just control click and it's right now. Okay. Woohoo! So that's uh, pretty good. <clears throat> How do we get there? Well, uh, let's do that right now. Let's do it with a different character, though. Let's use Bonnie Blue. Alright. <clears throat> so let's delete that. Well, no. Let's, let's delete everything. First step. Delete everything that isn't what you want to export. So, all the stuff, all the unused stuff, do not have it in there. And actually, it may make things easier. I haven't tried it yet, uh, <coughs> but it may make things easier to take everything out of the folders as much as possible. Basically, you it will result in a group, depending on whether you want groups or not. It will, it will result in grouped groups. So, but for time's sake, I'm not going to do that right now. You know, I don't think you want to wait through that. So, <clears throat> now, what's the next step? Well, it's pretty big. And as you know, you save a Photoshop. Well, maybe you not, don't know. But it'll, it'll save a bitmap thumbnail of that. Or a bitmap raster. We don't want that. So, let's size it down to about a tenth of the size there. We still have all the information, all the vector information remains there. All right, next step. And you've probably heard of this, saving a PDF file and getting the vectors from it, but maybe it didn't work successfully, at least it didn't for me, until today I f fiddled around with it and I got it to work. So let's go to File, Save As, <coughs> Photoshop PDF, hmm. and this is Bonnie Blue, yes, I'm, there's another file there, I've done this t tutorial four times, uh -huh, problems uh, every time, hopefully this will be the good one. Okay. So, usually it's set to Acrobat 5. We want maximum Acrobat 8. And I un I would uncheck Optimize for Fast. We're not going to be reviewing it on the web. So, preserve Photoshop editing capabilities, of course. Save it, yes. Alright, good. <coughs> now, oops, Inkscape. So, we have our file. Let's just drag and drop it instead of going through the funny dialogue. All right, and uh, looks good. Okay. All right, Bonnie Blue. Now, if you're wanting to just stick this up against a background inside of Inkscape already, then uh, you can stop there. You're you're done. But we don't want to do that, right? We want to actually be able to edit stuff. So, well, let's first let's put her on a new layer. Hello? Hmm. Uh oh. What is going on here? Okay. Let's see here. New layer. Well, I am not sure what's going on here. Let me try something. Hold on. Okay. So I reopened Inkscape. I'm not sure how I get things to mess up so much. Let's see if Bonnie Blue is still on the clipboard. Yes, she is. Okay. So we have Bonnie Blue now. And, 
Things aren't moving at all. Wow, what is going on here? Okay, so it crashed again. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's try just dragging and dropping again. Not worry about that stuff. Okay, money blue looks good. That will probably not happen to you. This is the first time it's happened to me. So, okay. All right, there she is. And she's on her own there. Happy day. All right. So, first, you want to be able to edit those paths. But you can see that she is indeed resolution independent. So, those are indeed vector paths. Now, that is a bitmap layer that we can delete. <coughs> it's not needed there. I had to delete it on her. There was one that was a lot more nastier than that. So... So I want you to take a look here, as you probably have seen, what we have are uh, layers with masks. And that's pretty much the same way it puts it into Inkscape here, through the PDF. We double click on stuff, we want to edit it, oh look there it is, but we got to node, oh no, they're not there. So what is the problem, what is the big deal? Well, they're all in groups. They're all um, masked bitmap layers is what they are. So we go to ungroup. Then we go to release clip. Now we see the actual path. Now we try to select the actual path. Whatever it takes. I don't know. Okay. That's not what we want. That's not what we want either. And here's the here again about uh, folders. So if you ungroup things, they will probably help to ungroup stuff. Ah, there we are. Okay, <clears throat> so we have this selected. And we go to our little drop it tool, same color, back to select, and just delete this funny layer. All right, there we are. That's it. Now we can click here and go to the node edit, and we have nodes. We have nodes we can edit. Woohoo! So that's about it. Now it's just a step and repeat process. Unless, of course, you only want to do it to certain things, which I can imagine. <coughs> Ungroup. Oh, I realize you can't see that. I just go to ungroup, then I go to release clip. So, take the droplet tool again. And uh, select that layer and delete it. Alright. So, same with the unicorn horn here. Ungroup. <coughs> release. Select just the vector there. Droplet. Select that color. Select the bitmap background, delete. All right. And we have access to all those vector paths. Yay! All right. So that's that. Uh, I hope you find uh, someone finds that very helpful. I know I will, because I have a lot of assets I've made in Photoshop. I'm certainly not about, not about to retrace everything, that's for sure. <laughs> well, uh... Thank you for watching, but wait, I think there might be more.